my one page marketing plan. Now the one page marketing plan is a simplified version of what I do for consulting, but it is a component of my marketing strategy for my clients that has given me a lot of success, that has been able to provide a framework that is simple, that my clients can understand, and that I'm able to sell. So once you put something in writing, it gives you a 300% increase in chances of having success. Now, the book One Page Marketing Plan is written by Alan Dibb. I highly recommend that book. That's where I found this marketing plan. And I wanna just dive a little bit deeper into it today and explain what it is and how it works and how you can implement it, as well as giving you guys a downloadable link down in the description of this video. So the next thing that's really important for you to understand before we jump into the marketing plan is you have to have a simple plan. And that's what I like about the one page marketing plan. It's very simple and when I explain this to you, you're gonna see exactly what I'm talking about is you don't have to overcomplicate the business. When you simplify things, you cut down the learning curve. And when you cut down your learning curves and keep things simple, like focusing on one niche, one offer, one audience, that cuts down the learning curve and it allows you to go a lot faster. And that's obviously what you want, right? You wanna go fast. You wanna have a lot of success and you wanna do it as quickly as possible. I've taken the long road, 15 years, to get to where I'm at today, but I've finally developed the processes, the systems, and the understanding to be able to get myself to a seven-figure agency status. And so this marketing plan is gonna be super fun. I wanna go through this, and we're gonna go through the first section by section. You can see they're in different colors here. And so the first section is the before phase. This is the before that you even know who they are. This is before they're a client of yours, before they even know who you are. And so this is the prospecting phase. This is the first phase in sales. It's a really important phase, but in your marketing, you need to understand who is your prospect. And the first step in that is who is your audience or who is your tribe? Who is your dream client? Who are the people that really you want to help solve their problems? And that's where this whole thing should stem from anyway, is what problem are you going to solve for somebody? Why does your business exist? It should be to solve people's problems. What problem is it solving? So understanding who your target problem your target market is, is gonna allow you to identify who your target problem that you can solve for. And then once you have that problem, you have that target, then you can understand what's the messaging I'm gonna to use to communicate to them. Are they frustrated? Are they underpaid? Are they, getting, are they losing their jobs to overseas workers? Like what is the problem that you're gonna solve? And then how are you gonna communicate those problems? Understanding and helping them understand that you know where they're coming from and you understand their pains and you wanna help them solve those things is very important to any successful marketing strategy. And then the last piece of this before phase is the media that you're gonna use. So are you gonna use blog articles? Are you gonna use Craigslist? Are you gonna use LinkedIn, Facebook groups? What, are, what is the media you're gonna to use to reach this audience? There are conversations that are already happening online and you have to become part of those conversations. It may be a forum, it may be a private community somewhere online, I don't know. But it's important that you know what media and where your target market is hanging out and where they're conversating. Maybe your audience is on Facebook, maybe it's on Instagram, maybe it's on TikTok. I don't know, but this is an important phase that most people miss and I wanna make sure that you guys got this. So as we move on to the second phase, which is the during phase, this is now they're aware of you, right? And you have to have a way to capture them. This is how they actually become a lead. And once they're a lead, you have to nurture that relationship. Nobody just goes, hey, how's it going? You wanna buy pizza? Like, it just doesn't work like that. You have to make sure that you're nurturing the relationship and building trust, the know, like, and trust factor. And so to do that, you have to have a lead capture system. So that could be a funnel. Uh, it could be a landing page from an ad campaign. Uh, there could be a YouTube video like this, right? This is a funnel. This is part of my funnel. This is a lead capture system where I'm delivering valuable content in exchange. You guys are joining the Instagraphics Pro Network and doing other things and really coming into my life and I'm coming into your guys' life and that is a lead capture system. Now, my lead nurturing system is gonna be something like my email marketing. Am I using a CRM? Uh, am I in a Facebook group posting on a daily basis to nurture those relationships? Am I putting out consistent YouTube videos, right? These are all questions that you wanna ask yourself. And then the last phase of the during phase or the lead phase is my sales conversion strategy. So I bring people in to a free group or I bring people to a free dinner, right? And then my offer or opportunity that I have for them leads them to that next step. And this is a really important piece that a lot of people miss inside of their business is not actually having a good conversion strategy. They never really make the ask. You have to make the ask inside of your business, inside of your marketing plan. It's a sales strategy, but it's also a marketing strategy of how do you make that ask? Is it authentic and real like hey I really want you to be a part of my community or are you trying to be pushy and say hey this is a one-time price offer take it now is it Black Friday deal right 
you position your brand differently when you take those different approaches. So really understanding that and documenting that is gonna help things become very, very clear. Now the last phase, and this is an important one, and there's some things in here that I'm gonna talk about that people also miss all the time when I'm working with them, is the how do you deliver a world-class experience? Not only is that part of your brand, but it's an important part of the experience and the story that your customers are gonna tell. Are you waxing, if you're selling cars, are you gonna wax their whole car? If you're doing design, are you sending them a handwritten thank you card? Are you giving them a framed version of their logo? What, what are you doing special for your clients? How are you giving them an experience they've never gotten anywhere else? Is it the personal phone calls just to say hi? Like that randomness in a business can be an important part of your marketing strategy as well. So take those things into consideration. The second one here inside of the after phase is how do I increase my lifetime value? Obviously, if I'm delivering free value on YouTube and other platforms, and then I have courses and other content, mastermind groups and trainings, things like that, that's how I can increase the lifetime value by having other offers. So maybe your initial offer, your one, your one offer, should be something like a business card design and business card printing. So you do a, a kit or a combo deal where it's a thousand cards and the design for $199, right? Let's just say you come up with a package for that. Well, once you get their business cards, well, what's the next step for them? Where are they trying to go from there? They may want to get a vehicle wrap. They may want to get a website. They may want to get some advertising done, right? It continues to increase over time. R starts with strategy, then moves into design, then it moves into growth. Those are the phases that I use in my business, and that's just an example that you guys could implement into yours. Um, the second phase, or the last phase here, and this is one that you really got to implement if you haven't already, is orchestrating referrals. The best way to get referrals is to have your clients, your current people that are buying from you, ask them, whether through a text message, through email. I find that text messages are a lot more effective. It's quick, the open rates are ridiculous. And so asking them for a referral, hey, who are three people that you think I could help out that would use the same service I just gave you? If you're delivering a world-class experience, if you're bringing them a lot of value, just like I'm doing here, right, they're gonna follow through, just like asking you for a quick subscription down below and a like button, right? That is delivering value and then asking at the very end. But it's giving 80% and 20 should be your ask. So how do I orchestrate and stimulate referrals? Another way to do that is by getting testimonial videos from your clients and posting those up on your website. That will get you a lot of referrals because that's the social media aspect and that's the power behind that. So these are just some things that you want to understand inside the one page marketing plan. Again, you got the before phase, which is your prospecting. You got your during phase, which is your lead. You got your after phase, which is your customer. So you move them through that cycle. It's simple, it's clean, and it's gonna help make you a ton of money. And once you document this and you put this on paper and you go through this with your clients, this is gonna give them a lot of success. It's gonna elevate your business. It's gonna elevate our industry. And that's what I